What's up everybody, this is Storm from Storm and Blackbird and I believe I found a way to fix the warping problem in Halo CE. Um, it's going to work on a case by case basis but I believe this is going to help a quarter to maybe half of you all in completely removing the warping problem. Not going to tease you anymore, I'll tell you the method first and the explanation afterwards. The best way to fix warping from what I've experimented is to directly connect your modem to your PC. And I mean an old school modem here. Normally these days when you sign up you get this modem router uh, router combined. What you need to do is completely bypass the router altogether and connect your modem to your PC. <clears throat> and what I'd like for all of you to do is to just try that method if it's possible. I know that every everybody's living situation is a little bit different and you may not be able to but if you can just directly connect your modem you know you won't be able to use other things in your router but just modem to PC and play it and tell me if warping is gone for you well the gameplay you're seeing right now is just some random game that I just uh, I just got as quickly as I could today now let's talk about the method here the explanation the cause of warping comes from buffer bloat. If I understand correctly, which is not my area of expe expertise, is that your router these days have a certain amount of memory and RAM and cas cache and such. And you have the tendency to overload very quickly, especially when you're doing stuff like gaming with a lot of, well, a lot of data going downstream and upstream. And they get, and they re get bloated, hence the name, and can't handle the packets very well. Killing it's spree. like this, um, there's a delivery truck on the road, which is on the lo left, and in the middle it's a, well, a road to your home, where your home is at the right. Now there will be a, a huge legion full of, uh, I don't know, delivery men coming out of them with packets on them, carrying them around them. And you see, if you have a wireless LAN connected here, this will happen. The men will con continuously f walk in the same path over and over again. But here and there, one will just trip over and all the stuff in the package will go out. And, it'll br and he'll bring you an empty, well, an empty box. And Don't that, kill. in a technical view, that causes warping because there's no data in there and you just randomly go somewhere else just as warping always is when you as you, if you directly connect your mom to your PC they won't have anywhere else to well fall off it's like we got a tunnel or something like that and they won't fall over so you get all the data you want and that pretty much declares that buffer bloat will be fixed and so we'll be warping. Um, so yeah, it, another explanation would probably fit in better, but I don't know. I placed a chart on uh, on a test I made with a modem myself with a router in it, and it just basically the buffer bloat is already existing in the first millisecond of it. And yeah, the scale means the the bar, the x-axis. It's uh, zero seconds to well, the first second is somewhere on the right, I guess. But and the uh, uh, y-axis is the ping you get. Now the buffer bloat will cause something like that, whereas your constant ping should have been 20 or such, and that basically shows it. <clears throat> and they really get bloated because of it. And yeah, buffer bloat is a phenomenon itself because it happens if you have slow internet or slow internet. It doesn't matter. It happens here and there. Now it actually matters on how old your or new your actual modem is, is depending how useful this is. Um, me, I know I have an old one. I've been using this particular modem since um, 2004. Yeah, I guess so. It has pretty much no memory or cache or anything, it's just simple as it can be, as in it has, I don't know, no delivery truck or something like that, how I explained it earlier, and uh, men 
take those packs with them and yeah, deliver them to me without problem. So yeah, there's probably this works great for me. So I played a couple of hours and have had laggy games when the server or host comes from Uzbekistan or something like that. But there's pretty much no warping for me if I directly connect my modem to my PC. So maybe warping is in part due to the buffer bloat problem. Again, if you may have a new modem router combo or if you live in a multi-member household where everyone uses your internet and you know, watch, watches your game, then it might not work for you, but it's pretty much different for everybody. I know that the new, newer modems have different settings th these days, but this I found to be the best setting. What did I do was just directly connect it to the modem, which means you use a LAN cable and never use wireless LAN again. And some people pre asked one time if HAC, Halo Anti G2, and um, SAPP, the server app, uh, actually affects buffer bloat and. Technically, yes, but actually, no. It's it, it's part of the data that goes downstream and upstream in your place in Halo CE. But if you direct, so it doesn't matter if if it's HAC or SAPP or not. Uh, you get the buffer bloat nonetheless. The same effects as if uh, HAC and SAPP were there or weren't there. So directly connect your modem and you can bypass the warping. Anyways, I want you all tr to try this out and tell me if it fixes anything. If it does, then you'll have a much better connection for you and for me and it makes it even more easier for me to kill you. If you want more info about buffer bloat, then there's a wiki link in the description. It pretty much explains everything else. <laughs> Probably better than my explanation there. And I hope it helps you and see you. Game.